I know I just harped a lot on what happens when you don't have your brand messaging done well, okay? But when you do it well, here's what happens. Number one, you have a strong sense of awareness in the community. People don't know that you're just a church. You know that you are the church, meaning I know that Wood's Edge Church is not a church for my family, but they are a great church for people who are on fire for God and need something bigger than a neighborhood church, okay? I do believe, even though I, I go to a small church and I love serving small churches, our average church size at Nava Church Marketing that we serve is 125 people because we want to get them to a larger point, whatever God's calling them to be, whether it's 150, 200, or eventually 2,000. We've seen that happen. Uh, so, you know, there are some people that are better served by larger churches. There are some people that are better served by, served by smaller churches. Now, I am not, that Woods Edge Church is not for my family, but they are for so many families. That's why God's blessed them and sent so many people to be served and equipped and engaged and discipled and saved in that church, okay? And so I know that they are, I don't know that they are just, let me, let me restart. I don't just know they're a church. I know that they are the church for someone that really wants to pour in, get plugged in, and serve because they're doing stuff every week, okay? And they're fantastic. They're a great place to plug in. Whereas the church uh, down the road from me, that's the old school KJV church. That's not a family that's going to be served well at Woods Edge. It's not going to be served well at the KJV church, okay? So I know this because both of these churches have strong brands. Okay, and so that's what happens. You have a sense of awareness. So people know who you're called to serve. And when I see someone that just moves in the area and they don't have a family, but they want to get back into church, but they want church like they used to experience it, I'm not sending them to the big modern church. I'm sending them to the KJV. My wife's wearing a dress church, okay? Say what you will about that. I know I don't judge as much as I probably should, but I know that, that I have a strong sense of awareness in that church because they've done some good branding work. And yeah, even small KJV only churches can do good branding work, okay? The other thing you'll notice when you get your brand message clear, like I'm about to show you how to do, you're going to notice you're going to have better engagement with congregation members, okay? Because your congregation, each one of them probably sees your church only as a certain kind of church. But if you can clarify that and have a banner for everyone to rally around, they're going to see, uh, they're going to be on the same page and they're going to be on the same mission and they're going to be carrying out that mission in a similar way. So they won't be inviting their friends just to invite their friends to a church. They will be inviting their friends because they know that God has equipped your church to specifically serve that person because they have young kids and God's blessed you with a great kids ministry or they've got young grandkids and God's blessed you with a great grandkids ministry or they live below the poverty line and God's blessed you to bless others to get them to the point of not worrying about their bills so they can start worrying about their salvation. Every church is uniquely equipped and so if you can communicate that through your brand message, your congregation will be on the same page and it'll be easier for them to invite people, again, increasing that sense of awareness. And not only that, with that, you have increased interest from potential guests because you won't have 200 people come into your church and only 20 stay throughout the year because they don't know who you are. They just know you're a church and they're looking for a church. Look, that's a great place to start. But what if instead of having 200 people come and 180 people leave and only 20 stay, what if maybe you honed in your brand messaging? So yeah, you might have fewer people coming because they know you're probably not a church for them. But what if you had 100 people come throughout the year and 80 of them stayed? Because the hundred people that came, came because they understood who you were. They felt understood by who you are. They knew they could be served. And so there's a greater chance that they chose the right church first rather than shopping around. That's what happens when you have brand messaging.